I just love roads like this, man. I mean, I, I don't know. I like the uh, I like the greenery. I don't like to be in the city areas. I mean, I live right down the road from where I could be at red light every five seconds. You know, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather be out here amongst the trees. Um, eventually, I'm, I'm open to you know take the bike out and ride it through like Shenandoah. Uh, the forest, you know, National Forest area along, uh, I guess it's uh, Skyline Drive, which is also like the Blue Ridge Parkway. Because uh, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, but it's going to be a while before I can be comfortable sitting on a bike for that freaking long. Obviously, I have to take a lot of breaks, but yeah, I just like this. I mean, it'd be a lot more fun if these trucks were in my way, but whatever. I'm not... I'm not trying to blow through everybody. We're doing 54. It's 35 through here. I can't complain too much about these guys. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of hiking trails around here. Um, biking trails. I do mountain bikes, so... I will say I have not done these ones, but I need to. I've been meaning to. I just haven't... I haven't gotten out lately. And I just... I, to be honest with you, it's just been too hot to even want to get out. Yeah, this is a sweet road. If you took away those stop signs, it'd be just perfect. But I mean, you can't complain about this. Yeah, you wouldn't expect this type of land to be like 45 minutes outside of DC. But yeah, we're, we're just 40, about 45 minutes away from DC. It's pretty awesome. And really, you got like the Potomac River and all the hiking trails around it. I mean, it's like it's like 20 minutes from DC, and you you know it's it's crazy. Like you can go through Mather Gorge, and it's that does not look like a place. And you got a Great Falls, which is like I, I think it's like within in the top 20 or top 30 of like the uh, world's biggest waterfalls according to volume. So I mean, that's crazy to think that that's just like a few minutes outside of DC. You don't really think about that when you think of D.C. I don't really know what you think about when you think of D.C., but it's probably not it, I'm sure. Woo, gravel. Don't want to hit that shit. I actually saw a video today of a guy who was... It looked it looked to me like he was on a, um, a tar snake. It was like straight down the road, and he was riding on it, and all of a sudden just... Whoop, both wheels slipped right out from under him, and he almost got ran over by a truck. Uh, I'll see if I can put a, a link to that video in, in, uh, in, the, in here, and also a link to that guy's page. But yeah, I saw that, and I was like, holy shit, man. He almost got killed. I mean, literally almost got killed just because of something stupid like a tar snake, which is slippery, which is the same thing that could happen to me come down this road, hit a patch of gravel like that, slide out, and then I'm going underneath the wheels of an oncoming vehicle. Not something I want to do. I don't think anyone wants to do that, but you know. I'm going to go slow down here because we had some hellacious rain over the weekend. I don't know. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It made local, or uh, local, made national news. Um, Ellicott City, which is just down the road um, from me, they, they had some insane same flooding um, but all our creeks nearby here they all whoopsie don't hit the sand all right see don't want to do that but um we had a bunch of flooding too and I just wanted to go slow through there and make sure I didn't slip out because there's gravel and river sand and all sorts of bad stuff for bikes on it but Ellicott City man I I've looked through the pictures of that holy crap I could not I could not believe what I was seeing. I mean, it was like, it, it it's a totally different, like, place. It's insane. But, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's unfortunate that two people lost their lives. But when you really think about it, it it's, it's incredible that only two people lost their lives. I mean, really. I mean, with, I, I mean, I saw cars getting swept down the road. I saw businesses, I mean, I, I heard a story of a, a business owner, you know, she had these two girls working at, in the shop, and um, the, uh, like this, the river, I forget what it's called, um, 
which is the one that overflowed, it it actually blew through the back of the building and out the front of the building. It actually swept the two or three girls away and they actually were rescued by other local business owners or, or employees of those businesses that were along that chain of like buildings. Um, so that, that's insane. That's insane to even think about. You could be sitting there at work, all of a sudden you get this massive storm roll through and you're seeing like the water is, is running down the road and you're like, oh my gosh, it's flooding. And then all of a sudden the back of your store you're working and blows out and you get swept out the front of the store in a freaking flash flood. I mean, I could not imagine that happening. But yeah, man, that if you guys haven't looked at it or seen it, man, go check that out. It's an, it's insane. The pictures are incredible. Um, but again, it's you know it's no no jokey matter. Two people did lose their lives, and there's plenty of people who are lost their businesses. There's a lot of those buildings. They're historical. It's a historical area. A lot of those buildings are not going to be standing. Um, they're probably going to have to take, tear them down. I mean, it's extremely unfortunate. Um, but it, it just goes to show you the, the power of, of Mother Nature. I mean, it's incredible and also terrifying at the exact same time. Bop or something. Bump. Oh, that wasn't a bump. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there it is. Jesus. It, it lulled me into a false sense of complacency. And then I found a bump. Oh, please don't turn, please don't turn, please don't turn. Okay. Ugh. Man. Ain't that a bitch. I don't think I get a green arrow either. No. Thanks for not killing me earlier, dude. Well, I'm gonna go around them. Yellow. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna freak out about that, but I don't know if you can see my mirror. Everyone's doing it. That's, uh, that's just what we do in Maryland. It is, uh, it's not even frowned upon here. That's why the shoulders are so big, pretty much. I mean, you just do it. I've seen people go around cops like that while they're trying to turn left, and it's totally cool. Um, so don't panic. I know I'm from North Carolina, and uh, generally speaking, totally against the law. In fact, I've seen people get pulled over for doing it. But here, it's all good. No problemas. Thank you.